Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session. And uh, I'm Hong Kai from uh, Huawei. And uh, I'm one of the maintainer of a uh, Kamada project. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Ken Chen. I'm um, from the Cyber Asian Company. And uh, I'm the maintainer of the BioCD project. Uh, in this session, we are going to uh, share two CINCEF projects, uh, Kamada and PepCD. And uh, then we will share a, a demo about uh, the integration uh, between the two pro projects. And uh, this, uh, this demo will show how uh, Kamada and PepCD works in the GitOps area and uh, uh, help uh, PepCD to uh, uh, deliver applications to multi clusters. Okay. <clears throat> uh, there are uh, many reasons that uh, people need to run uh, applications in multi clusters. And uh, uh, for example, uh, the, the, they need to deploy app applications as close to the customer as possible. and. Uh, uh, keep user data in in country, and uh, uh, also they might need to uh, use different cluster for uh, example for development and test and a prior uh, uh, prod, and uh, uh, also uh, for security isolation organization, and uh, uh, also they need to control the. Uh, blast the radios and so on. Uh, from this, this report last year, we can see that there are 87% uh, of uh, uh, companies are using uh, multi cloud, but there are still a lot of challenges to run multi clusters. You know, uh, for 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 example. Uh, you need to um, uh, maintain the uh, different uh, cluster configuration. You need to manage uh, uh, application conf configuration in different cluster. And also, you may be suffer uh, from uh, uh, the vendor lock-in. You are uh, hard to migrate your application from one cloud provider to another. Um, Kamada project is uh, aimed to solve uh, uh, this uh, challenge, and uh, uh, it provides the compatible uh, APIs with Kubernetes uh, native uh, Kubernetes API. So it helps to um, people to migrate the uh, their uh, tools from single cluster to multi cluster, and uh, this uh, Kamada. Uh, provides a uh, lot of uh, the uh, out of box tools to help uh, scaling the uh, scaling applications and uh, uh, Kamada is uh, totally open source and uh, no uh, vendor login. Uh, in Kamada also provides uh, plenty of uh, scaling uh, policies. Uh, uh, Kamada is uh, uh, Kamada is developed based on the Kubernetes Federation and uh, uh, open sourced at 2021 and uh, moved the mo and move the levels to in incubation uh, at last year. This is a general uh, Kamada architecture, uh, so it's uh, very similar to. Uh, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, the most uh, uh, in this session, we are going to use the uh, Kamala API server. You know, Kamala API server uh, speaks uh, Kubernetes API, so it's very, very easy to uh, integrate with uh, other Kubernetes uh, ecosystem tools. Uh, Kamala has a, a lot of uh, features, including multi-cluster man management and. Uh, Across uh, uh, deployment and uh, fail over centralized management and uh, multi cloud service. But today uh, we are more focused on the uh, 
Kamada API, and let's see how it can, how, how, how easy it works with uh, other products. This is the uh, example that uh, when Kamada uh, propagate, propagate applications, the Kamada don't require any changes to the uh, to the your to your configuration. All you need to provide a propagate policy. So uh, I'll hand over to this to check. Okay, so uh, next one, I will give a little bit to be uh, introduction of Pipe CD. Uh, Pipe CD is a um, sandbox project for now um, from last year, and uh, we have over um, 15, um, 19, uh, 90 contributors already. Um, the Pipe the Pipe CD is basically um, well, our vision is uh, one CD for all. Uh, we uh, we mentioned all here is application platform and uh, operations. Uh, it's a GitOps style continuous delivery platform that provide consistent deployment and uh, operation experience for application. Uh, we support multi-cloud provider, multi-analyst provider. The analyst uh, we mentioned here is for progressive deliveries. Um, so next is uh, we have a built-in security management attached um, for uh, manifest manipulating features. And uh, we have an even by communication mechanism, uh, which means that the PyCD is focusing on CD and it can integrate with whatever CI. And uh, one of the uh, most um, functioning thing is uh, we are not just working with Kubernetes workload, but we work with other workload as well, say uh, it's Telegram, it's uh, GCP Cloud Run, AWS, thing like serverless, and uh, ECS as well. And uh, we have to build the progressive delivery pipeline easy. Um, uh, this is the simple example of uh, what actually by CD look like in real life. And uh, you can see here that uh, we aim for zero factoring, refactoring to use. We have uh, deployment, we have service, we have whatever uh, Kubernetes manifest, and uh, you just give it AE, and uh, we just require a simple uh, configuration uh, manifest attack with your manifest so that the PyPD can understand how to uh, deploy your application. And we also work with most of temporary tune tune currently of uh, the community like HAM or Customize. We also with, work with Istio so that you can just uh, use everything as E. And uh, I will uh, walk you through a simple uh, progressive delivery configuration of Pipe CD. Uh, we have here the left side is the the um, uh, the graph of uh, what is the pipeline going to do, and the right side is the simple configuration of a uh, progressive delivery configuration of Pipe CD. Uh, we have here uh, the pipeline is the section that uh, defines the. Um, so actually pipeline and the state is definition of state we actually uh, the pipe the agent when um, when uh, do with your application manifest to deliver your application to the Kubernetes cluster uh, we have state uh, one and two is the canaries and the baseline version run out then next we have the analyst state uh, just simply uh, define analyst state and uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, analyst provider like uh, the Datadog or the Prometheus. We connect uh, by the PyPD agent. Then uh, you can just write your um, templates here to define the, uh, the queries you want to uh, you want to execute to get the metric and uh, the analyst state when uh, validating the results and. Uh, think that it's okay to go next or not. If anything go wrong, it's just thrown back. The next step could be the menu approval, which basically is the UI interaction. Apple City has the UI as well. Literally, in the, in the demo, we, we may show you some uh, UI so you can get an easier immigration. So lastly is the primary rollout, which basically is the primary workload to be rollout. And um, why Pi CD for multi-cluster and multi-cloud? Uh, we have here is the, um, 
high gate, um, high gate immigration of the 5CD system. Basically, we uh, separate the 5CD to two different uh, components. One is control plane, and the other is the 5D agent, which be installed just nearby your application. It's gonna be, it's just a simple binary, so you can just run it as a simple process in your VM, or you just can run it at a port in the Kubernetes cluster or anything. The point is, it can connect to whatever cluster you point to. It's not just Kubernetes, but the other as well. So uh, with this, uh, ki this uh, design in uh, architecture, we uh, did it in our production uh, environments. And uh, we, with a single control plane, we can support over uh, 8,000 deployment trigger each day. And I think it's got to be a good number. And. Uh, what? Oh, sorry, I just meet clicking. And now uh, one of the feature that I want to show you how 5C supports a multi-cluster as well is the deployment chain feature. Uh, with this feature, basically every application in your um, you you can build you can manipulate a complete complex uh, deployment chains with one deployment finish uh, run out, then it can trigger the other application as well. So uh, basically, for use case, like you have cluster one application after it's finishing uh, deploying, then you can trigger this uh, the other application at the other cluster as well. So uh, the right side, I'm showing the, um, the configuration for that uh, feature. And uh, the point to note here is in 5CD, one application is one cluster matching, which means uh, application cluster is one, one to one. But um, for some use case, uh, your workload that needs more than just one cluster. You want uh, your workload of the single application can be spread across application. That's why uh, PyCD need camera at this place. So uh, I will leave it here. The demo for uh, Hong Kong. Are you going to? Uh, ah, okay, okay. So. Uh, that's why uh, we think here is the um, immigration demo between Kamala and 5CD. So uh, the demo is uh, about using the Kamala to have 5CD deploy a single cluster application to be a multi-cluster application using Kamala and 5CD. So we have start here is the UI of uh, 5CD. Uh, this is the... Um, the configuration I just showed you before for preparation. Uh, we have uh, deployment, just a uh, raw Kubernetes manifest deployments. We have service, and we have the 5C configurations. And um, I have here is pipeline with uh, normally state from the, the canary run out, then uh, we have uh, replication percent is 10% of the primary uh, workloads number. Then uh, we have wait for 10 seconds, then primary run out, then canary uh, clean up. Just a simple canary strategy deployments. And uh, next, under the uh, 5CD UI, we register for that application. Uh, we have uh, some red box here. Uh, the red box, the first red box I uh, I create here is the uh, Kubernetes default. We basically uh, mean to this application manifest screen be applied to the Kubernetes default cluster. And uh, the second one is the the second one. The second box is uh, application name. Uh, something, something, safe, and we have uh, application um, single to be applied to the Kubernetes default cluster. Then from here, we have Kamada configuration to bring it to multi-cluster button. Okay, I take it from here. Um, uh, this demo till here, you can see after you uh, apply the application, uh, the PepCD will uh, deliver, will, will fetch the uh, manifest from uh, the, the uh, Git repo and then apply, the to, apply to one single cluster. Uh, but in this demo, we, we, we didn't uh, 
uh, actually apply this uh, application, but I, I will show you how make it happen to uh, deliver this application to multiple, multiple clusters. And you can see how easy it can to be. It, it can to be. Um, uh, all you need is to put another manifest and propagating policy to your uh, your your git uh, your git re repo, and you can see the propagating policy. It uh, it uh, represents uh, which applications uh, will be uh, applied and uh, which clusters uh, this application you want uh, it uh, you want to deploy. And in this demo, the as the application will be uh, applied to cluster mem member one and member two, and each cluster will have uh, one uh, one replica. Okay. After you uh, created the propagating policy manifest, and then you can. Uh, just uh, create, uh, deploy the application in PipeCD uh, web UI, and uh, uh, here you need to uh, select, uh, select a, a provider as a Kamada DV, and uh, then uh, then you can save the application. After that, uh, after that uh, the uh, the application as well as the manifest will be applied to Kamada API server, and then Kamada will uh, will uh, deliver this application to uh, b uh, memory clusters. And from this uh, uh, demo, we 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 can we cannot uh, see uh, much details yet, but we are working together to make it better to see. Uh, how the application located in memory clusters. Uh, basically, uh, with, without Kamada, uh, PepCD can uh, we we say uh, can work in a single cluster mode. It's uh, each each pep, uh, PepCD can fetch manifests from uh, uh, Git repo and then deliver it to Kubernetes. But with Kamada, uh, PepCD can uh, work uh, in uh, multi-cluster mode. Kamada uh, will help the, to deliver the uh, application to multiple clusters. Okay, so uh, we have a little bit uh, take away from uh, this demo. Uh, to hear what I want to remind you about Pipe CD is uh, is an easy managed and easy to operate for both uh, the developer and uh, operator. Also, it support it manage multiple application across multi cluster, but with the help of Kamada, a single application can be a multi cluster as well. So, uh, last one is the. Uh, PyCD support the same simple, powerful interface for many kind of application, not just the Kubernetes workload. Okay, uh, the most most important concept of Kamala is uh, the uh, Kubernetes native API support. Uh, we we believe that uh, uh, this will make uh, easier. For Kamala to integrate with the Kubernetes ecosystem to to chain, and yeah, that's our that's we always uh, uh, focus on. So um, welcome to um, talk with us about your user story, your requirements, anything you like to uh, talk. You can find us at CNCF uh, uh, Slack, and uh, also m maybe you can find us at GitHub. OK, that's all. Thank you.
we have some time for questions, so uh, please, if you have any. Uh, hello, hello. Do you have a microphone? Yes. Uh, so Chinese or English? Okay, both okay. Uh, is AWS. I have a Chinese account and a foreign account. Can we use the PIP CD to use the same page of documents to be sent to the two different countries? Both are Kubernetes cluster. I am trying to try to translate it to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said, uh, question is, he has uh, two uh, clusters. One is in AWS. China, China AWS account. China AWS, and another? It's um, a broad account. You can call it some cluster in hosted in US. Uh, yeah, another cluster hosted in, class in, in US. Can he use PepCD to, uh, to deliver uh, Application to both two clusters. Both are uh, both uh, both are account, but uh, in different country. Okay, I think uh, the question is more related to uh, what I want to confirm here is that application is um, you want the same application. I mean, is to the user just the same one or is two different ones? Same application. Oh, so if the same service, then it's going to be like you have the PI CD and the CD2, and that two application, two cluster is registered to the camera. Then PI CD will apply your application manifest to the camera cluster, which means that the camera will be the multi cluster management. So your application workload will be shared to the both cluster at the same time. So the answer is yes, I can. Yes, okay, yes, good. yes. Okay. With with Kamada and by CD at the same time, not okay. just by CD because the by CD currently is one cluster, one application. Yeah, thank you. More questions? Hi, I uh, just want to confirm. So uh, for the pipe CD, I, I saw that you have the function called uh, cluster chain. So say if a uh, Kamada is not in, in place in, in the architecture, so um, is this uh, function still working? Or it needs the Kamada to like? Uh, it's still working because uh, basically this uh, deployment chain here is construct of a block name application of pipe CD, which means that every uh, application to pipe CD could be a uh, block in the chain, so you trigger the first application, then in the post sync, which means that after the sync of the first application, you trigger the second one and the third one, so it's basically the logical one related to the deployment, not related to the workload. But the Kamada working is the workload things. The PyCD work, working is the deployment, so I mean not the Kubernetes deployment, but the, the delivery part, so uh, it's basically the PyCD features of PyCD working with this, with our Kamada. Okay, and with Kamada, the, the benefit is that uh, we can like, quickly deploy the, the application, the same application, to multiple clusters very fast. Uh, yes, I think there is two different things to mention here. One is Kamada have, uh, Kamada have you to have um, workload be delivered to multi-cluster, but it's the same application. And Pipe CD have you that is how to deliver your application to cloud. So Pipe CD don't care is one cluster or multi cluster. It's just delivers the application manifest. Just just trying to apply the application workload to somewhere. And quick somewhere is single cluster or multi cluster be supported by Kamada if in case of multi cluster. Okay, clear. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Ah. Uh, thank you for your speech. Uh, you. I have a question regarding Kermada. On the screenshot, we saw that uh, you created it manually, application manually. Uh, does Kermada support some Terraform? Maybe it has Terraform provider to create it by Yak 
to create applications in Karmanda by uh, infrastructure as a code, like Terraform. Mm, okay. Uh, for Terraform, uh, we don't support, uh, support Terraform yet, uh, but you know, I'm not sure it will support Terraform, you know, because the license had been changed, you know? Uh, so am I right that I, if I want to create application in Karmada, I should go to web UI and create it ma manually? Link with my Git repository. Uh, 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 sorry, I, I think um, we did not uh, understand well lately, but uh, this UI is PyCD UI, not the Kamada UI. Kamada basically focusing more on how to deliver your workload across the cluster. So if the question is if you want to, you have a raw manifest and you want to um, use PyCD to manage the uh, deployment, cross cluster with underlying Kamada inside, then you can use the form to uh, connect with the PyCD uh, to create that. Because uh, as I saw in here, you have PyCD have a control plane here. And basically, the vision could be we have one single control plane of PyCD. Then you have the PyPD as an install that connect to the Kamada cluster. Then you use Terraform or PyCD provide CLI like PyCTL to create a deployment for your application with basically just a calling API of the PyCD control plane. Then your application could be delivered to multi cluster by PyPD because the PyPD connect to the Kamada multi cluster. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the talk. It was amazing. Uh, question about Karmada. Do you provide any form of global load balancing before Karmada manage clusters? Uh, we, uh, we, we don't uh, directly provide the global uh, denies, uh, something, but we do provide something uh, based uh, support for people to build their uh, global denies and uh, you can look into the multi-cluster uh, provider. You can see that. We have uh, some documents on the website. Got it. Just in case, I'm creator and maintainer of KGB Kubernetes Global Balancer uh, project, also part of CNCF, and I see a potential way to integrate. So we can deploy GCLB resources with Karmada and create this global load balancing. Might be a thing to. I, I think uh, the, the the key to uh, finding here about camera is the uh, multi cluster so bit of camera is support that. So basically, is um, you have cluster worldwide and that's uh, multi cluster so bit of camera can support it. Yeah, sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Um, from my understanding, Pipe CD, um, at least in my understanding, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Pipe CD sounds similar to what uh, Argo CD is also doing. Yeah. So uh, could you highlight the key difference differences between the two? The um, and also, you know, with Argo, there's a whole ecosystem. You know, you have Argo events, rollouts, etc. cetera. Um, is Pipe CD also looking at similar, you know, building an ecosystem around it? Okay, good question. Thank you. Uh, I think the one of the strongest points of PyC we bring us to be a CNCF sandbox is uh, we support not just Kubernetes workload but the other as well. And uh, which means that if you have complex uh, infrastructure of not just Kubernetes workload but uh, other serverless, like you use AWS uh, Lambda or this Pikalo or something, you do not have any progressive delivery uh, solution for that currently. So uh, you can use PyCD for, to have one same um, interface, one same configuration for anything you want. The second is um, 
I want to correct here is uh, you just mentioned that Argo have the whole ecosystem like Argo run out, Argo workflow, and something, some things. I think basically they are trying to expand the, the Argo brand. I mean, basically, I think Argo CD is just trying to reconcile the manifest with something that happened in the cluster. Argo run out is just replacement for the CI, and ah, sorry, Argo workflow is replacement for some CI. Argo run out is trying to do some progressive delivery things, so it's kind of CD thing. So basically, Pipe CD equal to Argo CD plus Argo run out because Pipe CD support building the progressive deliveries pipeline at the start. And one different thing is something like if you use the Argo run out, then you do not define the manifest deployment, but you have to define the Argo run out things. And you have to, to install the Argo controller, run out controller to the cluster. Then it can be lead to some uh, problem like when you want to update your cluster version, you have to ensure that the Argo controller work with that version API of Kubernetes and something something like that. Why Pipe C is the independent things. You have the controller of Pipe C, which basically just an application will be installed in the Kubernetes cluster, and you have a single binary of Pipe D agent will install anywhere. So we not rely on that um, interface. So you can easily update your Pipe D agent that not related to the Kubernetes cluster update. And you do not have to manipulate your existing manifest. You can just keep it and it's just like I saw in here. You just you can just write your deployment and you just write the Pipe CD configuration and you still have progressive delivery, but keeping your deployment as the raw manifest of Kubernetes. Which means that you can use whatever templating tool like HAM customize to still write your I mean, deployment things, and you still use the Kubernetes CTL to apply. It's just AE. If you use the run out, you have to change it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We have time for the last question, I think. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everyone attending to this session. Thank you.